Welcome to How To with Roland. I'm pleased that you've been able to join me today. Now, we are going to look at Twitter communities and importantly, how we can use Twitter communities, what they are, what they do, etc. Now, for many people, you might be quite surprised to hear about Twitter communities. That's why you're looking it up now, because frankly, Twitter is pretty poor sometimes at announcing things they have introduced and they don't always appear in your Twitter feed. So let's talk about Twitter communities. Now, if you go into Twitter and you see communities on the left hand side or on your phone, it means you've already joined a community. So you pretty much know how to do that. But what happens if you go to an account like this one I've got here? And there is no mention of communities. So for me right now, I wouldn't know anything at all about communities looking at that sidebar. So how do we join communities? What are communities? Well, communities are a community of Twitter accounts under a certain theme. So it could be under the theme of travel, transport, music, whatever, football, soccer, that kind of thing. It can all be there in a community. Now, until you've joined one, you're not going to see communities down this side here. Let's just go back to my other account and we'll take a look at communities. Now, I have belonged to a few more in the past, but I've actually cut down to one at the moment and I've applied to join another. So we have got here Twitter spaces. So everything in this community are people who are tweeting in the Twitter spaces field. Plus, we have recommended communities to join because once you're part of a community, you will see more communities pop up, which is always rather strange that you don't usually see them in Twitter unless someone is, is tweeting it out and sharing the fact they're in a community and you might spot it from there. So within the community, you're in, once you click on that pop up box, you're going to see all the home feed from those members of that community. You don't have to follow them. It's a bit like Twitter lists. You don't have to follow anybody in a list, which is great. So you're not filling up your main timeline with people. You'll be able to go into the community and follow them through. Now, if it's for a Twitter space, that might be something else you're not too aware of. That's where people can audio chat. Others can listen in and somebody there is advertising a Twitter space, which is what this community is actually about. Now, let's go back to my other account where there are no communities and see if we can find some communities so we will get started in the community world. Now, we know about Twitter Spaces community because you've just seen it. So we could actually search for that in Twitter. Now, what I am going to do is search for something else. I'm going to search for Twitter communities. Travel. Let's see if anything comes up there. And we'll just have a quick scan down the top results. Nothing obvious there at the moment. Let's just have a look at latest. Okay, now we'll just work our way down just to see if we can find anything that pops up with, ah, now there we are, now this Thailand travel, view the community. So we've got something to work on. We'll click on that, view the community. And it gives the opportunity now to join. If you're planning a trip to Thailand, well, I may well do. Let's have a look. So we're gonna join that one. It tells us now these are the terms and conditions here, really to follow the rules. So be kind and respectful, obviously, things like that. And, uh, we shall agree and join. Now, once you're in there, we've joined already. It's uh, allowed us to join without approval from anybody in administration. So that means we're straight away. We now have our communities on this side. If it's one that requires approval, you'll have to wait until someone's done that for you. Now we've got the home and about. We can click on the about and it tells you here that only members can tweet, like or reply, etc and who's created it, Richard Barrow. The rules appear again there. These are the moderators. 
these are the members and we'll be in there too now so we'll just go back and if we go back to basics there we're now back on the home page so from our telephones mobile phones or tablets we can look for that symbol and the communities tab will be under that and we hit communities and we have now got the one we're in as I mentioned earlier if you're in several communities they'll all appear at the top and you'll just need to click on each one to take you to the main feed for that particular one just like that so that's how it all works so I hope you found that helpful being part of a community is really learning about a particular subject or contributing to a discussion utilizing that getting to know people on there so there may be people that you'll begin become direct followers of and they'll follow you as a result of being in that community and of course with this one there are 2100 members so that gives a lot of scope for networking if you like to find relevant people for the reason why you're in that community so i hope you found that helpful it's certainly something that can have great benefit within twitter and it's a shame that it's so hidden and hard to find to start off with uh, to actually get into a community maybe twitter will change that in the future but as i record this right now in october 2022 that's what it currently looks like thank you for joining me do make sure that you are a subscriber if you haven't subscribed yet click the subscribe button hit that notification bell and then every time i upload a new video you'll be the first to know Thank you very much. Do take care.